Hey guys, I wanted to do a update to a video I did a little while ago talking about the Walking Dead franchise and how I thought 2018 could have possibly been the worst year for the Walking Dead franchise. Now, so far this year has been getting better. The Walking Dead comic book, Robert Kirkman has said that issue 187 is going to be the beginning of a huge, the biggest storyline the comic has ever had up to this point, something like that. and. Uh, Chances are the next couple of it, and that comes out in January of 2019. So, chances are the last two issues we're getting this year are going to be crazy leading into that. The TV show, despite the fact Rick and Maggie are leaving, the, um, you know, they have, you know, like Robert Kirkman has said, trust him, you know, this, like, I'm going to trust them that Season 9 will still be good. Because Season 9, from what we've seen from the sneak peeks, from the trailer, from the um, it, new intro, the season looks fantastic. So it does. And I'm really excited for it. As for Fear the Walking Dead, even though the second half of Season 4 was weak for a lot of people, no pun intended, because... Like, you know, that's what the woman Martha said, you know, like, you're strong, you're weak. Um, the, um, other than that, like, the figures, there's not really much to say about them, besides that the princess figure and the princess bloody black and white figure are coming out. Walking Dead days are right around the corner, which is exciting, it's going to have a ton of issues coming out along with those two princess figures the overkill game despite the fact the ps4 and xbox one version got delayed it still looks like you know it's going to be good you know like it looks like this could be like they're they're polishing it to make sure it's as good as it possibly can telltale's the walking dead despite a couple weeks ago looking like the game might get cancelled and clementine's story wouldn't be finished Things have changed as now, you know, Skybound is going to help out with their games division, with the Skybound games division, so all that stuff is good. The novels ended on a high note with last year, there's some questions unanswered, but you know, the novels pretty much had a definitive ending. But you know, you could always continue it, because like, the ending wasn't so like, oh we can never get another novel, it's more like... There is more to tell, but we don't need to. Um, as for other novels we could ever get from The Walking Dead, I think it's possible because a few months ago Skybound started a books division, so we could get novels based around brand new characters, familiar characters, a mix of both, like you could have a group of new characters run into like Krista from the game, you know, stuff like that could happen. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you know, this is all very, very exciting, and I am really looking forward to seeing how 2019 will be for The Walking Dead, you know, season 5 of Fear the Walking Dead so far looks like it's on a pretty interesting, you know, projection. Looks like season 5 will be good. I like pretty much every character. Well, I like every character in Fear of the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead right now. So, even though we're losing some characters from both shows, and we've lost some characters from both shows, I'm still looking forward to seeing everyone else. And I have said before, whether it was on camera or not, that I'm pretty sure I've said before that uh, they could get rid of every character. I will still watch. And I mean that. Thankfully, it doesn't look like they're doing that, but I would still watch regardless. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Peace.